Ryan Doyle, Tarek Fatah here on your Friday night on Newstalk 1010. A bit of an interesting treat in the next few minutes. We're going to meet uh, an artist that doesn't make, create art in the traditional sense, at least the, not by the, uh, the mechanisms he uses to create his art. Uh, also in a few minutes' time, we're going to meet a child who gave away all of his money, his life savings, to a pretty damn good cause. So that is still to come in the next few minutes. And also after 9.30, Tarek, uh, we're going to discuss the idea of people getting killed by their cell phones. So it all sort of ties in. Yeah. Is it that? What, what, it had a built-in gun in the cell phone? No, I'll have to tell you I about it. I thought that m- maybe uh, the latest innovation, you know. No, it's a lot different. It's but a, I'll, I'll, it could be an app. I will explain it later on. You download it and it explodes. I'm going to download you in about two okay. seconds, pal. Uh, Victor Mitic is here. He is, uh, I, I would call you a, a rather controversial artist because of the, the means in which you create your work. But having it in front of me, we've got actually one of your, uh, your, your books in front of us. You've been kind enough to bring this in. It's called The Art of War, uh, Bullet Paintings by Victor Mitic. And uh, welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I got Lovely an here. empty shell in our hands, man. This yeah, he's also brought us, brought us some, some bullets in legal? here. Is this legal? Can we hold this in our hand? It's in a plastic bag. It's like in an evidence bag. So, yeah, I guess it should be. It should be legal. It should be legal. Yeah. <laughs> it should be. <laughs> now, uh, I, the, they're empty. The, <laughs> the front page of the, uh, the front cover of the book is pretty interesting stuff. It is, it's Jesus. Yeah. It's Jesus. It's, uh, it's, it's a pop arts version of Jesus. It's an uh, uh, iconic image that you can see online. You can see it on... Uh, but why would you have to shoot to create the image of Jesus? You know, like years ago, like, I, I watched these videos on, on YouTube uh, of uh, soldiers going into uh, churches, monasteries, and other religious institutions and desecrating them with weapons, knives, you know, spray paint, you name it, what they've done. Then after that, I've seen the uh, destruction of Buddha in, um, in Afghanistan. It's almost like we saw it live on, on, you know... Television, yes. Yeah, yeah. It, like, we saw it online. Uh, we saw it, like, more or less happening. We knew it was going to happen. They were putting the bombs in them. Bang, it's gone. And uh, they gave me the idea of uh, trying to get the same feeling, the feeling of loss, uh, see how, how I can bring that on canvas. Now, I'm, I'm interested because there's quite a few bullet holes as far as the, the picture of Jesus is concerned. But it's created a great image all at the same time. I'm curious as to the process. If you could take us through it, I'd be, I'd be fascinated as to, to how it works and where you even do or create something like this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I usually I start by, by uh, drawing, painting the, uh, the, the canvas with acrylic, applying gold leaf, and uh, then rolling up the canvas, going across the state to the States, to Buffalo, and uh, shooting the, the painting up with maybe sometimes 500 and 2,000 rounds of ammunition, various ammunition. Depending on the picture. Depending on the picture and depending on the, uh, the concept that I had in mind. Like some, some of the images, let's say the image of Jesus, I, I used uh, uh, 45 caliber ammunition and some 22s. Just a second. Why in Buffalo? Why not in Canada? I had so much problems here get, getting this thing done. Uh, I was in a couple of clubs. They didn't like the, the way I, what I was doing. They said, you know, the, uh, the RCMP, whoever controls this thing, is going to take away their licenses because they were supposed to shoot at the target, not at the picture of Jesus or, you know, somebody living. They said it's like uttering threat. I don't see any threat in the painting. So no one has been offended yet. Your book has not yet been burned. You have not received a death threat yet? No, no. But somebody sent me an email saying, come on. on. I'm hiding well. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I'm calling saying, you from New York. Somebody sent you an email saying? No, somebody, somebody says going to slash the painting. So we, we at this show at the Mose Gallery right now that's going on, uh, we put protective plexiglass on it, just bring it. I don't know if it's, it's just a joke. No, see, I'm curious, because to me, I'm a Catholic, and I'm, not, I'm looking at this, I'm not offended by it. In fact, I kind of like it in a way. I don't know if that, if that means I'm going to burn in hell or what, but... It doesn't seem like you're, you're mocking the religion in any way. It seems like you're, you're sort of using sort of the, the peace-slash-war version of expression and, and putting that into your art. Yeah, yeah, that's the, that's the main idea. The main idea is to show how fragile our, our society is, to, see, to, to show us how, um, how detached from reality we are. We are on this side of the world, we're drinking Tim Hortons, you know, sipping our beer, watching the news, and when we see war on the other side, of, like let's say people in Afghanistan dying every day, uh, you know, uh, we don't really see it. It's almost like a video game right now. But you, you originally from Yugoslavia. Yeah. And you've seen war. No, no. I've seen it on television like you've you seen guys. seen it on yeah. television. Yeah. yeah. And it was Christian versus Christian versus Muslim versus like, atheist. Yeah. And everybody shot mess. everyone else. Exactly. And now, I'm, I'm going to ask, because it says on the, uh, the release that I've got in front of me that 
collection, notable collections and collectors include the prime minister of this country. Is yeah. he part of the collection or is he actually a collector of your work? Uh, he's a collector. He's a collector? Yeah. Do you know Not what this particular work. It's, it's the previous series of paintings that I've done. It's the abstract series that was done uh, uh, a few, few years back. Now, was that involving weaponry or was that just... No weaponry at all. That, that's it. It was just uh, painting on canvas. So uh, this is abstract. a new genre that you have developed? It's a new genre using, I mean, I'm using like a, a very ancient technique. I mean, there's, uh, there's guns been around for how many, you know, 500 years mm -hmm. or more. And uh, so I'm kind of employing it in, in to peaceful surf, uh, purposes trying to get the painting done with the, the I'm trying to get the uh, a peaceful image, an image of serenity done with uh, something so destructive and, and deadly. This is and a, I want to see if it's done. This, you, this is uh, Victor Mitic. His book is called Art, uh, Art, it's Art or War. Yeah, I, I think I said Art of War, but it's Art or War, Bullet Paintings by Victor Mitic. You're at the, uh, your, your art is at 622 Richmond Street Gallery Moose, where uh, people can go and see it still. Yeah. Yep. Uh, let me ask you how your aim is. Because I'm, I'm going to guess, did you have any training in weapons beforehand to, you know, pick it up and, and start firing and, and get it in such accurate spots? Because you're, you're pretty damn good by the looks of things. Yeah, well, it takes uh, takes about a million rounds of ammunition to get that good. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, guess, I, I like the way you go through it. You just keep, and he's relaxed back, you know. He's yeah, laid sure back. Got piece. I got a piece yeah you got a piece on yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I hope you know. <laughs> <laughs> but how how does how do you aim it out now? You you have it down to pretty much a science because you've got a lot of different figures that you you've used on this. Yeah, I, I let's say in uh, in the case of John Lennon, it's called 38 Special. I use the same ammunition and same weapon that was used to kill him. So I, I recreated the image wow. uh, from the last moment of his uh, you know existence. Wow. And uh, yeah, so it, it kind of it, it's on the border. I don't know if people are gonna say this is distasteful or what is it, but I think it brings a lot of emotion, and it brings a lot of emotion to me when I do this. So it's um, we've done something on yeah. JFK. JFK, yeah. Yeah, look yeah. at this. Look at this, Tark. I'm gonna hold it's it up to Dallas, you. Dallas. Whoa. JFK. Now, just to describe it, there's a uh, it, the backdrop is the American flag, and then it's the face of Kennedy and, and his piercing eyes, and man. there are bullets all sort of around his head and through the flag. Yeah. I do the outline. Um, I usually paint the, paint the painting, then I do the outline. But has anyone misunderstood your work as being offensive? Some of the like, extremely religious person, people were offended by this uh, a little bit because they didn't get the idea. The idea is that the uh, message is for peace and against war. So here's my point. You know about the... Oh, what's that? Oh, that's the Prime Minister. Yeah. Wow. Oh, you have done one of Stephen Harper. There he yep, is. Okay. Yep. That's a... Let me throw a hypothetical question. Sure. You know the incident in Florida where this pastor wanted to burn the Koran. Yeah. Right? And he backed off. Now, would you do something like that to show that he was doing what was being done was wrong by shooting bullets and creating an image of the Koran? Would I do that? Yeah, that would be scary Are stuff. Are you asking for a personal, no, <laughs> personal no, reason work then? Because my people, I'm a Muslim, yeah. they would go nuts over that. You see, like, uh, let me, let me go, go this way about this question. Uh, there's not a single image uh, that I haven't done. Oh. But I'm not disclosing exactly what uh, has been done. Some, some of the stuff is not for public yet. Uh, might be available later on in life. All right, we'll try, to dig, I don't know. we'll try to dig a little deeper into this. Victor Midditch is our guest. Uh, we're going to spend another segment with him. Very interesting stuff. The, uh, I'm impressed. The Moose Gallery is the place you can go and see his work, 622 Richmond Street West. We'll put a link up, obviously, to your website as well and uh, on our website at Newstalk1010.com. More in 60 seconds. Ryan Doyle, Tarek Fatah here on News Talk 1010, your Friday night, and Victor Midditch is our guest. Uh, it's not often you meet a guy who uh, uses weaponry to create artwork, but I'm going to ask you, because you see a lot of other uh, forms of expression, let's say, in the world of art. Does that ever annoy you? Because some things seem to get a little too out there, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, it, it does. You know, I've seen guys that, you know... Uh, get suspended from a from a tree branch and and dip their hair in into a can of paint and just you know paint like that. And Would I'm you kidding. consider that artwork? It's more of a performance based and uh, art form, I guess, of some sort. It doesn't really stay long because it's not uh, made uh, out of uh, matter. Right, because yeah. it, it, it's 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 done just out moment. there and then it's gone. Yeah. It's floating out there in the ether at, at that point. And, and whoever saw it, you know, they've at least got a picture of it for the rest of their lives, but nobody else. Yeah. 
You know, yes. what, what struck me is, I've never seen a better version of Picasso's Guernica. Oh, thank you. It's unbelievable. Thank you. It took L- about 20,000. Right, yeah? This is unbelievable. Now, how many bullets did that take? It took about 20,000 bullets and 12, 12 uh, hours of, of, of uh, complex shooting. So uh, the painting is uh, uh, 12 feet by 25 feet long. It's enormous. See, now, how uh, do you shoot something like that with a gun? You uh, kind of use your... With a machine gun, I suppose. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All kinds of guns are using that. Like, it, it's unreal. Like the, the uh, semi-automatic uh, rifles, uh, the uh, pistols, uh, single-action revolvers, uh, semi-auto pistols, custom stuff. You, you name it, what I want to use. Shotgun. See, I, this amazes me because I'm, I'm crappy at the game of darts. I can barely hit a dartboard. You seem to get the lines covered by the bullet holes precisely. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm, I'm pretty good at it right now. Yeah, there was a number of cameras that I had to throw away because there was, you know, bullets going all over the place. But as I went along, I got better and better. And as a matter of fact, as, as, as a joke, uh, some club in, in the States invited me to a tournament. A gun waiting. club, yeah. Yeah, I was waiting. I usually wait until everybody leaves so I can do my stuff. So as, I don't know if anyone's going to smack me from the back when I'm, you know, doing a picture. Jesus. It's kind of unusual. You, you're in a place where you wouldn't expect to see art and there's all these guys with guns. Mm-hmm. So you know everybody's packing heat, you know. Everybody's and it's not exactly something. the most artistic community, likely. No, and also, I don't know if anybody's going to get pissed off. You're just kind of, okay, let me release my tension and get you from the back. Because i got to get, get uh, sometimes very close to the canvas. And uh, I'm shooting quickly. I want to get... Yeah, get what, is the, what is the range on average that you are, are standing uh, between back? Like, between 5 feet and uh, maybe what? 25 feet. Oh, no, wow. 25 meters, sorry. 25, 25 meters, meters. Yeah, okay. That's what that, that would yeah. be. You'd be getting bullets ricocheting back at you. Yeah, there's a, there's a chance of that. I guess I'm, I'm lucky. Well, you've got a good one. You've got a great one of Ronald McDonald here as well. Which, what was the the thinking behind that? It was just the, the character that had to get done. That, that yeah, was, that was it. Like, that, he that, looks like an evil character to me, but I don't yeah, but you got the Paris Commune there, right? This one? That's, oh, yeah, yeah. That's the. Uh, that's a very. I don't remember what it is. It's, it's a composition by Goya. Yeah. Is there a weapon that you haven't used yet that you're just itching to put forward, perhaps to use it on another piece? It would be kind of cool to use a bazooka, maybe. <laughs> bazooka. But it's got to be a bigger oh, piece. Yeah. You know? <laughs> uh, a bazooka. Yeah. Well, what? you probably you could be. It could be done. Most likely, it could be done. Yeah, I'm not sure if, if uh, they're going. That's not going to be done in Canada for sure. Yeah, maybe so if I go you, to Afghanistan. Okay, huh? here's the point. Have you created a mural for Osama bin Laden and shot him straight through the head? I'm not sure if he's alive. Is he alive? Oh well, he's got he's he's got a kid he's on a kidney machine somewhere in a villa in Pakistan. That much I can tell that you. That should be your next piece. No, somebody said that he's hiding in Mariah Carey's movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, that, if that's the case, no, nobody will see it. But my God, this guy is no, funny. He's a diplomat. Will.